to give us unconditional love and companionship year round. So they deserve a show of affection as well. So joining me right now is Dr. Ruth McPeat with some Valentine's Day gifts for our furry friends. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Um, and I was reading an article that just blew my mind. <laughs> I think it was last year or the year before. Apparently, Americans spent um, $1.1 billion <laughs> for <laughs> Valentine's Day gifts for their furry friend. I don't blame you at all. I do it too. Um, and this is totally something I would go for as well. <laughs> but you have your little cute pooch here. Where we have the table spread for yep. Valentine's Day. So let's go this direction to this way. And you can kind of explain what you got well, going on. The first thing, obviously, is treats. Treats mm -hmm. are always the number one Valentine's Day gift, chocolate in particular. But as everybody should know, chocolate is toxic to pets. Yes. So we don't want to give our dogs any chocolate. What we want to do is instead give them a treat that's made for them. Mm -hmm. These are Nylabone Natural Noobs Edible Dog Chews. And they're made in the US. They're made from all natural ingredients. They come in a bunch of irresistible flavors beef, uh, you know, all things Yum. we love, and they are long lasting, so dogs love them. So that's a great, safe treat you can give your pet for Valentine's. So question for you, in case the dog gets into chocolate, what do you do? Do not wait for symptoms to occur. Call your veterinarian right away. Mm -hmm. So really, really important that people don't wait because it can be fatal. So call your veterinarian so they can instruct you and determine if it's too much and they need treatment or if it's a small enough amount that they're gonna be okay. And then, but sorry, always ask. One more question. What what would the symptoms be if you don't see them doing symptoms it? can be vomiting diarrhea and they can turn into seizures and again death so really really important if you notice that they got into something call your vet right okay. away perfect thank you for yeah, explaining yes, all of that yeah. let's get back to the gifts okay so toys are another great gift idea that you can get to bring out your um dog or cat's inner kitten um so the toys are always good to get for pets these the, are adorable <laughs> <laughs> the little roses yes since we can't get them flowers um so toys are always great another great thing that you can get your pet is a mani pedi. Okay. Um, so specifically for cats, I brought something. So this is Nico Ichi's uh, Precision Cat Nail Trimmer mm -hmm. or Nail Clipper. And basically what's cool about this is that it's made in Japan and it's made with the same craftsmanship that they make samurai swords. Oh wow. So really, really thin blade, very sharp. And that's important when you're trimming nails because mm -hmm. it makes it more precise and easier for your your pet. Okay. So um, really cool way to pamper your pet with a mani pedi. Before we run out of time, yep. we have 30 seconds left since I asked you so many questions oh, about no chocolate. Problem. Sorry. Um, <laughs> another great gift idea is just to get your pet a bed. So pets Ooh. love to relax and lounge around. So getting them a nice cozy bed is a great way to ensure that they'll have sweet dreams um, when they're with you. Look at how cute these are. <laughs> okay, this is beautiful. Yeah. Should we put the little one in one of them? Let's just show um, it off. Look at how great it works. And the ultimate gift you can get your pet is obviously oh. good health. <laughs> See? Look at yeah. You. Seeing your veterinarian once a year. Aww. Well, thank you so <laughs> thank much. You. You're amazing yeah. as usual. These are great gift ideas, and thank you for the tips. Thank you. Uh, to keep your pets safe for Valentine's Day because we do have the flowers everywhere and then also the chocolate, too. So.